inside of the Third Reich, in the German-occupied lands of the Second World War, there were huge networks of concentration camps established. Inside of the barbed wire fences, violent SS guards and sadistic members of staff would make the lives of prisoners a misery. They were the sites of execution and extermination, and prisoners did not know if each day would be their last. One of the largest concentration camps established was Sachsenhausen, and inside this camp, some prominent World War II prisoners were killed. Even Joseph Stalin's son was killed there, but it was a place where there was a huge amount of death and execution. Of Sachsenhausen's 200,000 prisoners, around 100,000 of them were killed by the horrific conditions, gas chamber and medical experiments. Prisoners were treated terribly and were killed in the open. Join us today as we look at the horrific executions of the prisoners of Sachsenhausen, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Sachsenhausen was established in 1936, and it was found 22 miles north of Berlin. This meant that it was close to the heart of the Nazi Third Reich, and to begin with the camp was used as an SS training centre, and as a place to experiment effective execution methods to be used elsewhere. It was here within the walls where much execution occurred. Early on, it happened with prisoners being placed in a small room. Often music would be playing, and then the prisoners were told they would have their height and weight measured in a fake medical facility, before they were then shot and executed through the back of the neck, via a pistol shoved through a sliding door behind their neck. This was considered too time-consuming, and the SS even trialled executing all prisoners by forcing them to dig pits, and they were then shot in them. Also they used these mass graves following hangings, but these methods also caused too much panic within the prisoner population, so the SS had to come up with something more discreet and quiet. Because of this, gas chambers arrived at Sachsenhausen, and trials were held, in which they tested the largest amount of inmates driven into the chambers, and killed without panic being created. Gas vans were also used, but over time Sachsenhausen saw a huge amount of development and expansion. There was an infirmary found at the camp, and also a camp prison and other facilities. Surrounding it, near to the camp wall and the prisoner's camp, was a neutral zone. This was considered a no-go area for people, and it had a barbed wire fence which was electrocuted, and signs all around the site warned of immediate execution for anyone who went inside the neutral zone. But there were a number of industries and different kinds of work which prisoners were forced to do in Sachsenhausen. It was within an industrial area, and the camp contained a number of SS workshops where prisoners were forced to work very hard. Those who could not work were forced to stand to attention for hours on end, until the working day was over, and others were shot for refusing to work. The slave labour aspect was very tough, and the inmates were used to work towards the German war industry, as Heinkel, the aircraft maker, used many prisoners to make bomber aircraft. One of the strangest industries inside the camp was a large counterfeiting operation which occurred. The Germans forced skilled workers and artisans to create forged American and British banknotes, which they hoped would bring the economies of their enemies to their knees. The Germans introduced thousands of fake banknotes, and in England, many of these were never found. But things were very tough inside the factories, and what made things worse was the fact SS guards kept people in horrendous conditions. Around 30,000 prisoners at Sachsenhausen died from starvation, exhaustion, disease and pneumonia because of the terrible living conditions. They were not given enough food to sustain themselves properly, and many others succumbed to medical experiments which occurred. The SS created a punishment centre, where inmates would be brought in for interrogation, and they would be held for a period of solitary confinement. Things were very tough here, as rations were even shorter than inside the main camp. Punishment was harsh, and some people would be forced to perform at Sachsenhausen salute. This was where someone would be forced to squat with their arms outstretched in front, they then had to march around the roll call yard all day for this, and many were forced to march around 25 miles a day like this. Many were kept in isolation, and some were held and suspended in the air by their wrists like the manacles or the strapado during the medieval period. Also, gruelling exercise was inflicted onto inmates, and a number were forced to run 25 miles a day with heavy backpacks, and sometimes they were given drugs such as cocaine to test their bodies, and their military boots which had been made in the factories. There were also allegations regarding an experimental drug 
used called D9, which was designed to improve stamina and endurance. This was, in a sense, a deadly cocktail of cocaine, amphetamines and other drugs, and they gave prisoners at Sachsenhausen in it to see if it would have any use for the Wehrmacht and the German military. But the killing and execution at the camp was daily, and hundreds of prisoners were being killed each month. In November 1940, the SS shot 33 Polish prisoners by firing squad, and a further 550 people were killed there. But in 1941 and in the autumn, around 10,000 Soviet POWs were shot dead at the camp through the next shooting facility. These prisoners were excluded from the camp's records, and their killings remain an undocumented part of the camp's history. Further executions occurred as the first hangings took place in May 1942, using gallows in the roll call yard, which terrified the prisoners each day. Further resistance fighters and hostages were also killed that month, and Station Z was also established. This was a complex which included a gas chamber and four crematoria, which would deal with the killing and clean-up operation there. Also a huge sandpit was nearby, which was used as an execution trench. But many high-profile executions took place at Sachsenhausen. Seven British Army commandos were executed there, and these were shot following Hitler's issuing the commando order, stating that all captured members of commando units should be shot without trial. Further SOE officers and spies were held and executed at Sachsenhausen, and it was where Joseph Stalin's son, Yakov Dugashvili, died. Historians debate whether he was executed, or whether he took his own life, walking into the fence on the neutral zone, electrifying himself to make sure his ordeal was over. As the Second World War turned against the Germans, Heinrich Himmler ordered that every prisoner inside Sachsenhausen should be executed. Sick inmates were taken to the industrial yard, where they were executed, and in the liberation of other subcamps, large-scale killings took place. Himmler and Hitler did not want anyone who was held there to fall into the hands of the enemy, and even on the death marches northwest, thousands of prisoners who were physically exhausted and shattered were shot by the SS after they collapsed. In total, it's believed that around 100,000 people were executed and killed within Sachsenhausen concentration camp. This made it one of the deadliest camps of the Second World War, and it was a place where high-value political prisoners were kept. It was considered a safe place, close to the Nazi heartland, for the high-ranking prisoners to be held. It meant that escape was very tricky for them, but inside the walls, a huge number of prisoners would never make it out alive. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.